Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am planning to create a course on Sitecore XM Cloud, mainly towards developers. Why this course? Actually, traditionally, Sitecore development over the years from a long time, we have been developing components or building websites using ASP.NET MVC or ASP.NET web forms. It's always, it was always on .NET. But uh, with the new introduction of headless CMS and SaaS platforms, the CMS part and the websites are decoupled now. So CMS are hosted by the Sitecore or any other enterprise platforms. And websites, it's a choice of uh, clients to choose which tech stack they want to build on. It can be Next.js, it can be ASP.NET Core, it can be Angular or few other. So, there are a lot of Sitecore.NET developers who are trying to transition into XM Cloud with Next.js and other skills. So, that is what I am going to cover on, like overall XM Cloud, all the topics and with Next.js. Let's see what would be the course content. I'll briefly give an overview on Sitecore XM Cloud and what are the other Sitecore products and uh, how do they get uh, provisioned and how we can be set up in local environment as well as like how we can provision in higher environments as well as I'll touch on Sitecore concepts. If you have watched my Sitecore XP course before, there were like from 40 videos are there in that playlist. There are brief, they are already extensively covered on Sitecore core concept like template, fields, field types, presentation, layouts, renderings, placeholders. So most of the concepts remain as it is in XM Cloud as well. But I'll I'll try to cover them again because if you're not watched on XP, you can just follow XM Cloud fully course rather than going back and forth. And uh, headless SXA is specific to XM Cloud. We can we will cover that. And we will cover either JSS or Content SDK. Content SDK is newly released XM Cloud SDK, or JSS is already existing one. And component development. So I'm for this course I picked Next.js. So as most of the projects we see are are getting built on Next.js. So I'll I'll show everything on the uh, in terms of Next.js component developments and everything with TypeScript. And we'll also look at experience edge, uh, how we can use GraphQL queries to extract or uh, to get the content from experience edge, so which is a CDN layer. And page builder is a um, new uh, editor in XM Cloud, which is a replacement for experience um, editor. Page builder is much quicker and we will see what all things we need to consider when we are building a component which need to be editable in experience uh, in page builder and serialization we already know whatever we created in Sitecore items we want to serialize it so that they are part of version control and they can get deployed so in previous versions we used to do that with either unicorn or TDS and from Sitecore 10 onwards there was like Sitecore content serialization as well so which is again uh, supports on XM Cloud as well. So we can use Sitecore content serialization. So we'll see how we can set up and how we can um, um, serialize uh, some of the Sitecore items, push, pull, and all those commands. And uh, as we are working on Next.js components, I picked Vercel for the deployment. Again, that is what we have been doing most of the projects. So we'll look at like how the development, uh, sorry, how the deployment pipelines will work from XM Cloud and as well as Vercel. Um, as XM Cloud is a SaaS platform and it does not come out of the box with any search provider. So we have to, in, if we need to implement any search functionality on the website, we have to integrate with any of the external search platforms. So for this project, I'm picking up Sitecore Search as it is by Sitecore. Uh, I mean, it is one of the Sitecore product. So we'll see how we can crawl. I mean, how we can set up the indexes and how we can crawl uh, items on Sitecore search and uh, also we can how we can build on Sitecore search uh, integration with XM Cloud as well as um, uh, how we can build a component where we can send search queries and 
fetch the results and pagination, sorting, boosting, all those concepts. And uh, last one is like embedded personalize. Sitecore already provides a product which is called Sitecore Personalize for all the personalized experiences, A-B testing, uh, personalization and all those things. So we will, um, XM Cloud also contains one of the like lighter version of Personalize which is called Embedded Personalize where it, um, already it is integrated into XM Cloud. We can run some of the personalization rules on that. So we will have a look at that as well. If more people are interested by then like we can also cover broader integration with the actual Sitego personalized product as well. And who is this session for? Who is this course for? So mainly, I, I'm targeting towards three developers. I know that this is like very broader level because Sitecore XP.NET developer who predominantly have a Sitecore skills with backend knowledge, but not very much on front end, uh, front end in a sense, front end any front end frameworks. But on the other hand, front end developers have very good knowledge on UI as well as front end frameworks, Next.js and other things, but they might not have any of the CMS skills. Back end developers might have some of the, I mean, will have some of the integration or the back end skills, but they might not have any of the either sidecar or um, Next.js or front end skills. For them, it might be a bit challenging because they need to learn both the sides, side core as well as uh, front end. But it is not impossible. So if anyone want to explore, like if they are currently back end developer and they want to come into side core ecosystem and they want to be a side core developer, they can still make it by learning because basic concept they already know in general development concepts. So this is what I'm trying to cater like three developers. Because more and more projects we are seeing, the site code developers are slowly trying to learn all the front end frameworks and becoming full stack developers. And as well as front end developers are also doing that and becoming full stack developers. Back end, we are not seeing so much, but still, uh, this course um, will be beneficial even if you are a back end developer. And uh, technologies we are going to use, or what are the tools and technologies? Mainly, we use Next.js. I mean, it is based on React and TypeScript is what we are going to use for the, all the coding. Node.js and NPM packages, Node.js to run in our local and GraphQL for mainly experience edge GraphQL queries. Docker is mainly for the local setup of XM Cloud in the full stack mode. And Visual Studio Code is like our main code editor and Git is our main branch. So those are broader level uh, technologies and tools we are going to use on this course. Um, so hopefully it helps um, um, some of the developers out there and I can't wait to get started on this course. Yeah. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.